Hi everyone, this is Valerio and uh, in this video I want to show you the application that I, the web application that I built for uh, um, a module that I took in my BS computer science uh, degree. Uh, the application is called I Love My Fridge and the purpose of the app is to allow the user to create uh, one or multiple fridges and uh, store inside them the, the product we purchase. And of course, the objective is to keep track and get notified about the product we place in our fridges and avoid wasting money and, and food at the same time. So we can uh, uh, get started by registering um, the user for the first time. Uh, but before we start, just a quick note. Uh, I love my fridge as a three tires application and uh, uh, basically the, the, the presentation uh, layer is uh, a native uh, JavaScript. There are no uh, front-end framework. I, I, I didn't use any front-end, any modern front-end framework. And the, uh, the middleware uh, is a Node.js uh, uh, application and the data layer is, uh, has been uh, designed with MySQL. So, we can uh, start uh, uh, registering our user. We need to provide some basic information, like username. And let's grab a picture for our user. Uh, of course, the application has been designed with a mobile first uh, approach, so everything would be adapted to the viewport of the device that the user will use. And uh, we can uh, start registering. When we register, we get the welcome message uh, uh, with some basic information um, and as well as the authentication token. This token uh, will be used and should be stored by the user to uh, perform uh, uh, basic backend operation related to its, uh, its, its personal account, such as uh, retrieving uh, the credential. So we can close and the first thing we see is the uh, a new card that's been added to the user interface. So from here we can start adding our fridge. Same can be done from the hamburger menu if we are using a, a, a phone, a smartphone or a tablet. And, um, and we can also see the user picture, the username, email, and so on and so forth. So let's start adding a new fridge. As we can see, we click, we add the kitchen storage was successfully added, so we can close and the user interface has changed again. Now we do have the, uh, the fridge, the, in this case, the kitchen storage, and we can also see the item uh, that are stored inside this fridge. We can also add another fridge if we want. And the same again, a welcome message, a green uh, message for, for the fridge has been added to the user interface and we can see the storage freezer with the item store. From here, when we have a fridge or multiple fridges set up, we can click here and start adding new products. We can see right now we don't have any product. We can go and uh, add products. In this case, we are going to add the milk so when we close, we can see that the items store is not the item store is no longer at zero, but it's been has been uh, increased by the item that we add. We can perform the same operation on on a different fridge. Let's grab a different date, and we can click and, and add the product. Now we see that the cheese is uh, uh, forty two. And, um, and of course, 
uh, visually we can also uh, understand that uh, product is going to expire because we do have these uh, uh, different colors that are going to indicate the user when a product is about to expire so we got also a notification from the system that is going to inform the user that a product is about to expire so we get the email I mean it's about to expire in two days so we do have also a notification system and um, and of course, uh, when a product has been consumed or a product is, uh, is, uh, is about to expire, uh, we can also take action like, for instance, cancelling the product and removing the product from the fridge. So in this way, we can always keep track of what we place in the fridge, uh, the, the expiration date of particular products and get notified. So if I refresh the app, we can see now that the, there is no longer uh, the item inside the fridge is no longer available uh, while the cheese in the in the in the storage freezer is is still is still available. So uh, this was a, a short demo of I love my fridge, and uh, I hope you like it and uh, have a nice day. Bye.